Okay, in this video, we're going to learn how to manage your dashboard layout. When we build a Trader Sync, uh, this new version, we wanted to ensure that Trader Sync can tailor uh, the metrics uh, to your liking. And now, uh, not only the metrics, but the layout that is available here in Trader Sync, so you can uh, use the software in a way that uh, truly speaks to you. Okay. So the layouts that we have available are the following. So we have to click here on the dashboard and the dashboard is a, so far the only view that allows you to choose different layouts. To choose the layout, you're going to have to click here, layouts, and then you're going to see four different options. So the first option you're going to see is the current option that we have where we have the trades a table here in the middle. We have the four widgets on the top and we have two columns of widgets on the right hand side. So this will become handy if you have a screen uh, with a higher resolution where you can see the two columns. So for example, in this screen that I have right now, the resolution is not that high. Uh, so I'm seeing only here one column on the right hand side. But if I were to increase the size of my browser uh, to the left, then I'm gonna start seeing here the two columns that I initially set on my layout dashboard layout okay now let's say a uh, this might be overwhelming for you especially when you're start starting a uh, to play around with trader sync so you might say okay i actually only want to see one column here instead of two because there's might be too much information for you to consume at the beginning so in order to do that you have to click here on layout and then instead of two columns i'm going to choose to see one column okay so this will maintain everything but on the right hand side, it will have only one column instead of two. It will not matter the resolution. It will always have only one column in this case. Okay. So now, even though you still have one column here, uh, you might not see all your widgets. So if you're not seeing all your widgets here, you have to do is uh, click here, manage widgets, and then select the columns that you want to apply here. Okay. In this case, you have to choose the left columns and you're going to say, okay, I want to see the potential performance widget here. And then once you select it, you click save changes here below and then this will reload and then you will see your widgets there. Uh, of course, you can reorder the widgets so they speak to you in a way that truly matters. Uh, and you can rearrange these ones on the top as well. Now, uh, that's not the only two layouts that we have. We do have another one. So these other layouts, uh, layout that we have here, this one here below, what it's gonna do is gonna suppress uh, these columns that we have on the right hand side and only show your trades. So if I click here, click Save Changes, I won't see the right widgets anymore, the columns on the right. Okay, which this is gonna be. Um, an exact replica of this column now, of this view, I'm sorry, of the trades. Okay. So now I'm only going to be able to see my trades. Okay. Finally, uh, you can go here to layouts and then you can choose from this one. This one will have the two columns on the right, as you can see here, and then we'll have metrics on the um, center of your screen. Okay. So I'm just going to load that up. And uh, now I'm just going to decrease my browser, my browser size. So you can see here, now here I can see different metrics on the center of the page. I will no longer see my trades on this screen on the dashboard, but I will see these metrics. They say uh, these metrics are actually not speaking to you. You might want to see another metrics. You can click here and then you will be able to select uh, which metrics you want to see on the center of the page for example you want to see shares and uh, i report with the shares and click save changes and then this is gonna load um here below a report that shows uh, how many shares i'm trading on a day okay so you can see for example on a uh, this was about september i traded plenty of shares in comparison to the other days okay so here you can pick and choose uh, which metrics are important to you and then you can either activate them or deactivate them and then they will be reflected here. Again, all the settings that you choose here will be shared across devices as long as you're sharing the same um, account. 
Now on the right hand side, I'm still, I'm just gonna increase my browser size here so you can see, I'm still gonna see these two columns with different metrics where again, I can still uh, go ahead and manage them here. Okay, now you can always go back to your initial view, which is my preferred one, and then have it there, okay? Thank you.